Here we are in episode 36 of the Simple Success Podcast. This is financial life coaching from a happiness perspective. Coaching happiness. When you change you, you change everything. And today is a result of what you do every week. What's the one sentence takeaway all the listeners can start with this week? Oh, you're talking about their anchor, right? Duh. We're going to call that their lighthouse. Okay, my question still stands. What is their takeaway? Good cue. Let me read the answer directly as put out by Los Angeles County. This should be good. The annual secured property tax bill, which includes the general tax levy, voted indebtedness and direct assessments that the Department of Treasurer and Tax Collector mails each fiscal tax year to all Los Angeles County real property owners by November 1st due in two installments. Are you snoring, DT? This might be an important source of unclaimed money for you, dude. You like a good real estate transaction. All about property taxes, all about property taxes, all about property taxes, all about property taxes. Don't quit your day job, okay? Trying to tell me something, DT? I was going to say something about your singing, but I think it's the lyrics. The property tax thing doesn't make a good song? Correct. The property tax thing does not make a good song. And I'm painting, not snoring, since you asked. Also, don't try to say too much, or it'll be your usual saying nothing. And don't forget the through line, the insight, the one thing. Have something worth saying. No doubt. So, DT, where does any good come from when we talk about real estate property taxes? Trying to put me on the explaining side of this one? No, just setting up a new idea in a new way. Gotta keep this interesting, after all. Talking about county budgets can be a problem sometimes. Even boring. When you purchase a home, you'll need to factor in real estate taxes as an ongoing cost. After all, you can rely on receiving a tax bill for as long as you own this very personal property. The cost of property taxes is an expense that doesn't go away. Sing with me. It's an expense that doesn't go away. Ugh, that's awful. Not as bad as having to pay the current year property taxes. Okay, but please, please, just talk about this. No mas and contas. Thought you'd never ask. As I was saying, or singing, it's an expense that doesn't go away over time and generally increases over the years as the current market changes and your home appreciates in value. But what is it? Thank you for slowing me down. I do get excited about stuff sometimes. Property taxes are what you pay every year, usually based on the size of your property or your house, maybe and your house. It's a kind of public service. Who gets the money? Well, typically, it goes to the county where your property address, your house is. Some counties charge once a year and others that you pay more often. Why do they get it? Because they've agreed to provide a certain level of schools and road maintenance, fire and police and other stuff. All that stuff has an administrative charge. You mean it costs money? Yes, costs money. Can your taxes ever go up? Yes, maybe. Property tax rates can definitely go up. How often? It can go up on an annual basis every year. Anytime there's a ballot issue to raise taxes for anything, it usually means official records and property tax, tax office stuff. Like? Like a new school. Really, that would be a bond that pays for the school, but that's a later pod. Interesting. We'll be back with more. And hopefully better and better tax rule questions right after the break. Hello, everyone. This is John with the Simple Success Podcast, financial life coaching from a happiness perspective, because we know you want to show us some serious love in return for the tremendous benefits you get from us. Please head over to the support link in our written show notes. That's the words on your podcast player. There, you can choose from a $9.99 per month doing level support, a $4.99 knowing level or a basic intro level of just 99 cents per month, whichever you choose. Thank you so much for helping us do this. To leave us a voice message, which just might see the light of day in a future podcast, go to those same written show notes. You'll go to a site like Video Ask, where you can leave a video, audio, or text-only message, depending on how you feel at the moment. You can also send us an audio file attached to an email, if you use more than your phone for stuff. Hint. I won't repeat those links because weird in any way, show notes. It's all in there and it's all easy. So as we were saying, we get big group things like fire and police for this, yep. right? Big group things. What you said, plus roads, schools, stuff like that. Stuff that renters don't pay for. Different podcast, DT. Okay, are they the same everywhere? No, that'd be too easy. In some places, a property tax bill, which you get maybe once a year, 
might be less than a single month's mortgage payment. In other places, it's maybe three to four times your mortgage cost. For example, I owned a house in Redmond, Washington and had to pay annual property tax on it. And I also owned two rental houses near Denver, Denver, Colorado, at the same time. Was this during the infamous Super Bowl between those two cities? It was actually, good call. The property tax in Colorado on each house was $600 US per year. The property tax in Washington was more than $7,000 US per year. A bigger house, probably. Well, sure, it was a bigger house, but not that much bigger. To be fair, they had other taxes. Washington, for example, didn't have an income tax. Different states make it up in different ways. This is what I look like when I yawn. Okay, here's the bottom line and why it's important. It's an expense that will never, ever, ever go away. As long as you own any property anywhere. Can't you ask realtors? Won't they know? Oh, they should. You can ask one or head over to www.realtor.com slash taxes. But since they're not sponsoring this, we'll stop there for now. You can ask lenders, financial advisors, and others. I highly recommend asking more than one person on nearly everything anyway. You were saying something about a bottom line. Yes, and here it is. Don't let it keep you out of the game. Understand it and work it into the picture. Okay, cue John with the investing example. Not yet, just regular examples. But every example is an investing example, isn't it? You've even said that. Point taken. Let's say we owned a business and there was a particular cost involved with our owning that business. Like what kind of cost? Like insurance or inventory or rent or like something else. We would have two choices. One, we could bitch about it. Or two, we could accept the cost or not and deal with it and move on. Sounds too calm and happy. Oh, that's because it is. But yet, there's one thing that's even better, and that is the investment gain that we could make if we're so inclined. And we'll talk about that right after the break. We know a lot about you already because we know ourselves. For example, we know that you know how to listen to our podcast. We also know that you probably know how to subscribe. The reason every podcast asks you this is because when you subscribe, you automatically download all future episodes of that podcast. This means better rankings for the podcast, more attention from advertisers, and more money. And that means more and better stuff for you. So your motivation is simple and easy. Subscribe today wherever you get your favorite podcasts. Oh, and don't just try to subscribe. There is no try. There is only do. We're changing the way we look at things. And remember, that's good. Eso es bueno. Sebo. Also remember, this is financial life coaching from a happiness perspective. Coaching happiness. Our call to action is right in the show notes. There, you'll find a link to our upcoming webinar, which you'll also find on the website. Click now to register for a time that works best for you. Okay, so finally, the investing part we've been waiting for. The closing segment? Why would we be waiting for that? To tie this whole thing, this whole property tax thing, into investing, just like you want me to do. Oh, this should be good. Like I can make money off someone else's property tax. Sheesh. You can, you can, you can, you can. You know singing, remember? Oh, right. So every year, you get a tax bill for your property. And for whatever reason, this year you don't pay it. You're in arrears, is what they say, lawyer. And you lose your property immediately. What? Really? No, not really. But every business day, you dig a hole you really don't want to dig. So you lose your property immediately? No, but you do open a back taxes account with them and get on a payment schedule. Why? Because they're still doing the school district's thing and the police and fire thing and other county services. Oh, you're just not paying your share. Right, so let's fast forward a bit. You don't pay next year either or the year after. Your file is stepped late property tax payment. And you might not even be eligible for online payments. Meanwhile, I figured this out about you and I made the payment of property taxes for you. Big deal. Yeah, it can be because now I have a lien on your house for that real estate tax. So the Internal Revenue Service will smack that one down. Uh, maybe they'd like to, but they can't. County taxes come first so you, investing, get what's called standing. And the investing comes how? So glad you asked. As an investor, you would buy what are usually called tax liens. This is where the state, the state in which the county is, sells the debt and the right to collect it along with any penalty charges. 
so that they can go on with doing the fire in school thing. Sort of like that A lot like that, except that you and I get to play the game without being, what did you call them? Lawyers. Right. Who are hopefully property taxpayers themselves. Could you end up owning their house? Yes, it is possible, but it's not super likely. If that's your strategy, there are things you can look for to increase that possibility. But most of the time, they pay you off. They don't plan to let you have a million-dollar place for five grand in taxes. It happens, but usually you're right. Either way, we find every source of revenue by looking for it. We find what we look for. Right. And you're going to tell us what we must remember. Remember, all you need to do is practice, after which you'll get good. Gracias por escuchar. A la prochaine. You're here in the Simple Success Podcast, where you've landed well in your search for financial life coaching from a happiness perspective. We come to you on a regular basis with podcasts, webinars, and masterclasses, together aimed at freeing you from the change that the financial industry puts on all of us. Most of us don't even know what those changes are, and in this spirit, we're not going to try to solve problems that people don't even know they have. No, instead, let's go up to common ground here. We can overcome, and we will do so. Join me for the ride of your life in a good way. This podcast and our other podcast are productions of Little Red Hen Industries. The supporting cast who helps me bake the bread includes Techno King John C. Brandy, fact checker Abraham Lincoln, French consultant Virginia Mitchell, media expert Faber Abasi Ike, psychologist Sigmund Freud, rabbit hole advisor Dr. Marg Parrott, sound designer Guglielmo Marconi, Spanish consultant Cameron J.K. Brandy, videographer Alfred Hitchcock, Audio props go to Les Paul and inspiration to Napoleon Hill, Earl Nightingale, and Bob Proctor. We also have a website and you can subscribe to both podcasts. You can even send us a video, audio, or text message. But of course, you'll have to head to the show notes either on your phone or on the web to actually get links and stuff. I mean, I could read the URLs where you can subscribe, support, or leave one of those video or audio or text messages, but you really don't want me to do that. And those explicit clickable links are in the show notes. Finally, you can find us on Podmatch where we consider guests as well as consider guesting on other people's pods. And really finally, the music for our pods comes from Cute by Ben Sound and from Piano Background by Nick Simon Adams, both on freesound.org. And by the way, I can sing better than that.